Okay, this is a quick um, demonstration of some of the physics involved in drilling that I think was missing from certain videos about how clean and tidy it is. This is a piece of software called Space Engineers and um, it's got quite an interesting physics model. Um, obviously it's very very simplistic um, but it still has more fidelity than the the, the video, the animations uh, of drilling that I've been seeing recently. Um, so one of the things I I've just set up a small uh, kind of uh, a model of a um, drilling rig. We're going to try and drill. I'll show the uh, just going to a simple drill. Try and drill through this uh, asteroid. Um, And the first thing you notice is the swaying. And, um, <clears throat> you know, this is the, I think this is called the drill string. Very, very simple representation of it. But you would have different things on different parts of it to do different. It, it gets quite complicated from what I've seen. Um, you have various different things going down the drill string, uh, sense detectors and sensors and all this sort of thing. But I might do that a bit later. But first off, and I would really recommend this, it's a game called Space Engineers and um, it's very good for um, constructing things in uh, basic simulations and physics. Um, so if I get in here, if I remember how to. There we go. So this is the cockpit view. And so I switch on the drill, the one drill. And now, I mean this is kind of exaggerated. Um, but what it's showing is that the spinning of the drill is causing um, a rotation and movement of the of the uh, drill string. So all these animations of perfectly straight lines going down and precision um, drills going, um, you know, horizontally, I it just defies the rules of physics. If you've got a big, great big spinning drill going down for the drilling section, you're going to have some torque. This is getting a little bit beyond the joke, it's going to rip itself to pieces, so I'm going to have to switch it off. Um, so if I get out again, in this game you have something called gyroscopes. <laughs> it's a little bit exaggerated this. So um, if I stick some gyroscopes on, hopefully it can stop swinging quite so aggressively. <laughs> And the great thing about this this game is um, it's just don't, very unforgiving. It will allow you to build things that will just rip themselves to pieces due to the physical forces involved. And I think this was one of the problems on Quadrilla's first um, hold on, let me just stop. Stop swinging. On the first drill, it's just something along these lines. They don't know what they're doing, and they um, just drill, spin around a lot, and snap things because of the forces involved that are involved in drilling through rock. Right, so I can put these gyroscopes on to try and stop all this. Uh, obviously, in real life, um, I don't think you'd have quite... You'd ha you, you have to do something to stabilise the this kind of torque and spin. Of course, if I do that, I need to put more drills in. So, um, which is what I'll probably do. I would liken this really to um, Lego, basically, a kind of Lego with physics, basic physics models. So yes, the practicality of drilling, it isn't all these clean lines that um, gets pushed. So hopefully, let's put some more, it's still swaying too much. To put some extra drills in. Uh, 
And um, yeah, if you look at drill bits, they are a kind of ball thing that goes in to stop uh, all the, 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 this um, lateral movement. And And if it does uh, spin around um, in a gyroscopic way, um, you need extra jewel bits to um, catch the um, the swing. And already I've just seen something here <coughs> that you want your um, jewel bit quite a long way away from your um, supporting structure. So let's try that. Although obviously with the extra jewels, it's likely to um, It's likely to tear itself to pieces even more now. I may need a lot more gyroscopes than this. Um, so get in. Uh, I've got to try and group it all up somehow. So I've got to group up all the drills. Drills one. Okay. Close. Groups. So, um, here we go again. Uh, so I've had to put some stabilizers on. That's rule one. Stabilise your drill so it doesn't snap from the sides uh, things. Right, seems to be working so I'm going to step out and have another look. There we go. So now we're ready. For, now we've stabilised the drill, although it's far too close to that. I'm now going to try and do some drilling. And. Um, if I'm not careful, if you do too many at the same uh, at the same time, if you drill too fast, I do need to save this. Um, I'm going to save this because I don't have to do all this again. Uh, but one of the great things about uh, this uh, modelling of this again this game is that uh, things go disastrously wrong all the time, um, which I think kind of reflects real life and. Um, save it and I'm going to exit to main menu and save it just going to make really sure this is um, saved uh, rename uh, save as there we go um, and we'll call this drilling one okay OK, we'll call this Drilling 1. There you go. That means I can... Um, have I load that? And I hope failure is not, not an option. Gene Kranz. Um, so, here we go. All ready to go. And um, it's on. You can see it by the fact that it's a, almost like a living thing. And I'm going to hit the drill. This is, I'm going to get out and have a look. So that was drill number 2. That was the piston. So there it goes. Not quite. There we are, biting it. Okay. And go to the next one. Could really do the camera up there so I could actually monitor it without getting out of the cockpit. Right, so now we hit drill um, the piston 3 to push it down a bit further. Hopefully nothing's going to snap off. You can put some lights down there and camera just to spot it, but I'm not going to do that for now. Um, and you could probably do with some sensors to know when I've got full extension on it. 
uh, which would probably be a very good idea. Anyway, on to the next one. Four. I could probably give you a demonstration of what happens if you drill too fast, but I can explain what happens. Um, you just uh, snap everything, it all breaks. Guess what happened with Quadrilla when they did it? I mean, this is obviously a, a, a great simplification. I'm sure people can um, give me pointers to make it more realistic. good enough, although I could probably do with a, um, a light down there, or a camera. And the next one, six. Uh, yeah, I've logged quite a few hours in this game. Just seven and eight, okay. Um, and I realised pretty quickly on that you have to be careful when you're drilling, because you don't want to snap everything. Um, uh -oh. And I can also tell by the fact that it's kicking at the bottom there that I'm pushing it going a little bit too fast. Um, now we do the next one. And I'm going to have to get out and have a look. So. And that's all. Um, looks pretty good, to be honest. And this is um, purely uh, to, to do with issues that could happen um, with uh, with drilling vertically. Now you add on to this the complexity of drilling laterally at the same once you've got down here. I mean, that's I think that's a bit beyond the scope of this. Um, this uh, uh, program. Anyway, so I'm going to retract. Oh, that's a little bit too. And the thing is, if you retract, uh, it's especially emphasised in this uh, this game, is the if you retract too fast, the the uh, momentum and the inertia just rips everything to pieces as well. But I think, as far as I can gather, the um, problems are normally due to the, the huge pressures involved. Uh, I do hope that hasn't saved over my thing, so I can do this again. And let's get out. Still a little bit aggressive on the spin. But I think the main point I wanted to make when drilling, uh, even in this game, is the fact that, you know, this is with a load of gyroscopes to try and stop. But it's a, it's a, it's a moving thing. It's not this precise, um, you know, there's a, a circular motion that goes on whilst drilling. And if people don't understand that, and the fact that it's not, as clinical as it is made out to be. But to be honest, that is fairly clinical. But, um, so, I managed to get through that. So, yeah, I think what I'm trying to say is that when people talk about drilling, it's a little bit more involved than just uh, straight lines on a cartoon. physics involved in the practicalities of drilling.
there you go.